in this month's article, I want to talk about uh, things that I look for when I'm going to, or what makes me decide when I'm going to throw a top water or when I'm going to be throwing a worm. So now, over the years, I have uh, noticed that because of all the traffic on the water, I've noticed that in the last 10 to 15 years, that the top water bite is not as consistent as it was 10, 15 years ago. And, and that I attribute to all the traffic on the water, the fish are more leery and so on. But here are some of the things why I'm, I'm, or why I'm gonna be throwing top water. Uh, it doesn't matter um, if it's in the morning, midday, or in the evening. What I look for is when a major or minor is occurring uh, during the time of the day that I'm fishing. Uh, so I want to be throwing during a major minor and when there's a lot of bait activity on the surface That's when I want to be throwing top water. But now if I'm throwing that top water and I get consistent Just blow-ups where they're not biting it because if that fish wants to eat it They're gonna eat it, but if I see just a consistent where they're just playing with it They're just blowing up on it missing it. Then I'm gonna switch back to a plastic uh, I will use a plastic when there's no activity on the surface of the water uh, when, like I said, when I'm getting a lot of blowups on the top water, uh, when they're short striking the bait, the plastic bait, then I may slow it down because that tells me there's really no feed. So I want to work it near the bottom to take it of an opportunity of maybe a reaction strike uh, from a fish. So those are some of the things. Let me recap. I'm going to throw a top water. Uh, doesn't matter what time of day, but I want to be throwing it when the fish are at, when the mullet are active on the surface. And, I'm, and there's a major or minor feed going on. Again, if I see them just short striking it, then I'm gonna be throwing a the plastic. And that is a tip 